What's up guys and gals, Pokekitch9, back again with some more base set stuff. Um, this time, it's going to be all uh, commons, and I think I have one uncommon, which I will definitely save for last since it's a little bit uh, more, you know, unknown I guess. I'll start with uh, one of my favorite Pokemon from when I was a kid. Um, show the back real quick, and then boom, Magnemite, Gym Mint Ten. Um, this is the this was the best deal I got out of the cards. Um, not much to say about this one. This guy's uh, pretty weird looking. A uh, little circular ball with magnets and screws in it. You know. Never thought that it would be one of the biggest Pokemon out, you know, in the uh, in the game. But very very nice card. I was uh, very excited for what I got it for. Uh, verified everything's good. You know, I will always verify it before I ever leave feedback. Buy it. You know, if it's if it's a card that's very expensive, some sellers believe that if you give this card out, if you give this number out. People can, you know, like people can steal their card or something. Some guy told me that, and he was trying to sell a, uh, I don't even know, like a rocket, rockets Moltres or something, and he had that, he had that thing covered, and he wanted like three hundred dollars for it, and I was like, dude, you're, you, you could be, you could be falsifying your information, you know, you could be, you could be trying to cheat somebody. So I always leave that uncovered, no matter what, you know. That is this card's personal number if somebody fakes it it doesn't matter this is already registered and you know they can only pass it off as fake but also if you would if you know if you want to be more thorough you can send that back in and they can re-verify it for you if you would like but Magnemont very cool um, next we'll go to the fire horse <laughs> Ponyta. Um, I always liked um, when I was watching Silver Snorlax's videos. He always talked about the uh, computer animated image, um, which is like one of these. I believe. I believe this is one of the ones that have a, has a computer background. Um, but it it just you know it looks like it's out in the field somewhere like that looks so real in the background like the trees and that like I know my iPad can't really get that close to it but it's very very neat how they made it that realistic and uh... I didn't really like Ponyta when I was a kid it, you know didn't really give me any goosebumps or anything like that whenever I pulled one um, I did like Rapidash. Rapidash was one of the coolest ones I've ever had as a kid. It was really cool. But, yeah, not much to say about this one. <laughs> um, next, we got a uh, another lightning cod, Voltorb. And this is actually the air version. Um, and it's actually... Huh, I've never seen a card do that before. If you look, it's actually like way jacked up there. You see? It should be down here. Huh, they actually put it in there like that. That's crazy. Hmm. Well then. Still a Jim Mint 10. Still looks perfect. Um, but this is actually the error version. Um, most of the first edition ones were made in this air version, and it's, I mean, you know, just looking at it, you couldn't see no error to it. But if you look really close and read this, it says, usually found in power plants, easily mistaken for a monster ball. It has zapped many people. Monster. Should be Pokeball. That should be Pokeball right there. Because a master ball is not red and white. I don't even remember what color a Master Ball is. But that was really cool. Um, 
I liked Voltorb and Electrode when I was a kid as well. And I'm always going to refer to the Pokemon when I was a kid because I was like nine when this set came out, I think. 1999. I was eight when it came out. Like, that's a long time ago. And I'm only 21, but still, like, that was a long time ago for me. But very happy with that. And I don't care about this down here that, you know... You can resend that in for like five, I think five bucks, and they'll give will give you the same grade and just recapsulate it. I'm pretty sure. Um, what else? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna show these two cards together because there's something very, very, very unique about. It. I'm gonna actually leave these for last. I'm gonna do this one next. Um, this is the uncommon that I got, and it's a really cool uncommon because I actually have uh, up here. In front of you, I actually have its uh, basic as a uh, also in my collection. So um, it's actually Nidorino. So I have Nidoran and Nidorino now in my um, collection. Very, very excited for this one. And um, I actually paid less for this than I did some of the energies, which is pretty bad. But nonetheless, it's one of the cards that was probably going to take me a, a little while to get. They're just, uh, the uncommons, and as you go up towards the rares, they're much harder to come by, and they're much harder to shell out for out of your, uh, out of your pocket, because they get expensive. I've seen, I've seen uncommons go for, you know, 200 bucks before, and I know that, you know, the Ivysaur goes for a lot, War Turtle goes for a lot. Charmeleon sold for in the auction. Charmeleon sold for a hundred bucks, and you know, you know, a hundred dollars. You know, I understand because you know it's 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 in the Charizard line, but still, it's just the uncommon. And these sellers that are trying to sell their uh, base set first edition boxes for you know ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, twenty thousand dollars, they're high on drugs. I have to say, and I don't mean to offend anybody if you've got one on eBay for ten thousand dollars, but you are you are dumb, because you're not going to sell it for that. Now I've seen one sell for eighty six hundred, but ten thousand, twelve thousand, fourteen thousand that's too much money. They're not worth it. You're not guaranteed to pull a Charizard. You're not guaranteed to complete the set. It's almost it's basically almost impossible to complete the set from one box. You would have to buy two. So that's at your price ten thousand. That's twenty grand right there, and the set's not worth that much. My, you know, I've got I've got friends before that have completed the set in well well less than ten thousand dollars in a gym mint tin form, complete sets. So you know, for for sellers that are trying to do that, they're just you know they they need to quit because they need to just they need to bring it down halfway. They need to bring it down to about five to six, and I'm telling you, it would sell like that. And you're, if you bought it back when it came out, look how much money you made. You bought it for a hundred bucks, I think, is what they were when they came out. A hundred bucks. Then you just made forty nine hundred dollars. If you're if you're not happy with that, I don't, I don't know what else, but. I'm gonna show these two cards together because there's something very, very, very unique about them. And I want to see if y'all can figure it out. But I got Diglett and Oduo. And I'm going to let you look at it for a minute to see if you can figure it out before I tell you. Okay. Very nice cards. Very happy that I got these. If you found it yet, five seconds. Time's up. All right. What I found that was really cool about these was that these cards are sequential in the set. If you look up there, it says 47 and 48. But also look at the PSA numbers. They're also sequential and graded. This one, 216-25149. This one, 216-25150. These were graded back to back. That was so cool to me when I when I... I wasn't even, 
I didn't even pay attention to it because the auctions were ending so fast. It was like, you know, every every two seconds my phone was blowing up. I had like 300 notifications on eBay because of all this stuff that was happening. And I hadn't, you know, I just I just didn't have time to basically look at all that. I had verified them a couple of days before when they just came on and, you know, basically I got them today in the mail and I was looking at them and I was like, whoa. I was talking to my girlfriend and I was like, babe, these are sequential. And she was like, is that a good thing? Because she hates, she hates this stuff. She hates Pokemon. And I was like, yeah, these are sequential in the set, 47 and 48, and they're also sequential in grading. So that was that was something that was really cool to me, and I wanted to leave that for last. But you know, um, two of the ugliest Pokemon. If you add this one to it, there's the three ugly ducklings right there in Pokemon. I have to say, in the base set, they're just ugly. Um, this one is just dumb. I think it's the dumbest Pokemon ever made. Besides, um, oh, excuse me. Besides, what? Oh, what? What is his name? Lick li uh Lick it lick it lick it oh lick lick it lick it lily lick it lily Oh I don't know how to pronounce his name but it's not lick a tongue it's lick lily I think is that how you say it I sounded like a dumbass just then but I can't remember how to pronounce it But anyways I hope y'all enjoyed this me acting like a dumbass and um i am just overwhelmed with how with how much i've you know completed in this thing so far already you know i've got a good bit of the commons chucked out already and that's going to be one of the hardest things to do is is get the commons done and be able to you know go go forth with it and start doing trainers you got the rare trainers that usually sell for around you know 150 200 dollars you've got the rares that could sell up to 200 dollars and then you got to start looking at hollows and hollows right now the sellers are freaking dumb hollows are like 500 dollars a piece and you know I'm lucky enough I ain't gonna tell y'all. I'm lucky enough. I'm not telling you the cards that I'm gonna. I have that's been held for me. But I'm lucky enough to have a guy that I know. He left my town about three years ago to go out to Australia and become. Uh, he wanted to be. He wanted to go play basketball. Well, he he didn't do that. He didn't play basketball. He, the contract that he signed wasn't what he wanted to. But then you know he got a signing bonus and everything for being on the team. He started investing it into Pokemon cards, and he contacted me on Facebook because um, I have a personal Facebook that that I don't tell anybody about. And um, he contacted me on there and said, "You know, hey, I actually found uh, your first video, and you said your name in it, and I realized that that was you. And um, I wanted to let you know that I got a bunch of first edition Gen Mint Ten base set Hollows." And I was like, really? I was like, you know, which ones do you have? And he told me the list, and he was like, you know, I'm, I, I want 200 bucks for each one of them. And I was like, done, dude. Hold them for me, and I'll get them. And he's got 12 of the 16 held for me. Very excited about that. Um, he wants to sell them all at once, which I'm very happy to do because I don't, I don't really want to have to pay $50 to ship each card over here. Australia shipping is just ridiculous. Um... But I'm very excited to have that. And, you know, I don't expect y'all to believe that until you see them, which is it's going to be a little while before you see those cards. But I promise you, you will see them very soon because the hollows are going to be one of my favorite points of this set. But, you know, 15 cards right here. And uh, we just started 15 cards and three videos. Very or four videos, excuse me. Very excited. Sorry to keep this so long, but just like to give y'all updates and stuff, let y'all know what's going on. So, um, yeah, that's about it. 
Uh, give me a like, favorite, comment, subscribe on this video. And until next time, guys, take care. Peace.